Rhino have been a totem in Africa since time immemorial. But now this iconic species is under threat of extinction if the current rate of poaching cannot be halted. It was conservationist Anton Rupert who said, conservation without money is conversation. It was these words that inspired three friends to raise funds for rhino conservation in a donor-fatigued market. Entrepreneur David Yanaman, veteran wildlife filmmaker Philip Hutton, along with mint owner Noel Duncan, founded the African Heritage Ambassadors. The company's mission? Conserving tomorrow, today. Their strategy? Rewarding donors with an appreciating asset. Africa's indigenous peoples practiced the wise economic law of only harvesting from nature what was needed to survive. The colonialists, however, saw Africa's resources as a limitless bounty. Soon the unthinkable became a reality as species after species was condemned to the extinction list. The rhino population in southern Africa managed to survive in small isolated pockets. By the mid-1960s, newly developed tranquilizing drugs allowed conservationists to capture and relocate the now severely threatened rhino population in South Africa to game reserves and zoos outside the country where they could be protected. In an attempt to contain the ongoing slaughter, neighboring countries introduced a shoot-to-kill policy against poachers, and rhino were moved to so-called IPZ, intensive protection zones, where they were guarded 24-7. But the slaughter continued, and in 1976, the international conservation body CITES swayed members to vote in favor of a ban that prohibited the trade of rhino products. Three and a half decades later, over 65,000 rhino have been poached, the species permanently removed from their traditional home ranges in Africa. Clearly the trade ban had failed. Seven rhino were poached in the year 2000, and then the number increased exponentially. By 2012, one rhino was being poached every 15 hours. During the 2010-2020 decade, 9,442 rhino were poached. Private rhino owners have become skeptical about keeping rhino. Securing their safety is costly and there is very little financial reward as trade in the products is not permitted. We sit in a situation where we have huge stockpiles of rhino horn. These are from animals that have died of natural mortality. There should be a legalized method of selling rhino horn, exactly the same as you have in any other commodity. The analogy here is the moment a product is banned, as it currently is under the CITES legislation, you may not legally sell any component or part of a rhino, which now has created a black market and we are suffering the consequences. Throughout Southeast Asia, rhino horn is still used in traditional medicine, even as a cure for hangovers. More expensive than gold, cocaine or heroin per gram, rhino horn has become a status symbol amongst the nouveau riche. This, along with the rumor that it can be used as a cure for cancer, attracted illegal crime syndicates to the market. It's estimated that the value of this illicit trade is worth more than a hundred million US dollars annually. Money that could be used by conservation authorities if the trade could be legalized. You shoot rhino? Yeah. yeah. In an attempt to dissuade poachers, the criminal justice system has elevated rhino poaching to that of a serious crime. The penalty includes asset forfeiture, but the risk-reward profile still attracts criminals from every level. No bail for such brutal killers. 
The arrest versus conviction rate is not encouraging, nor is the number of horns recovered in relation to rhino poached. Only 7% of the horns from rhino poached are recovered. New legislation requires that every time a rhino is tranquilized, the horn is microchipped and a DNA sample taken for analysis and storage at the University of Pretoria's Veterinary Genetics Laboratory. DNA samples allow the crime scene to be linked to the criminals. Our first conviction was a Vietnamese gentleman who tried to traffic horns through Oliver Tambo Airport and those horns were matched to an actual poached animal and the person got 10 years sentence as a result of that connection. The African Heritage Ambassadors have chosen to remain outside of existing anti-poaching fundraisers and distributors with their rhino ambassador set. Donor fatigue, along with several dubious Save the Rhino fund collectors, meant that any game changes in the fight against rhino poaching would have to develop a unique concept to raise and distribute funds. Instant gratification in the form of an appreciating asset means that besides being able to pay it forward, you have purchased a unique piece of conservation history. African Heritage Ambassadors will conduct a needs analysis from funding applications received and are in a position to react swiftly to provide funding in emergency situations. The minting and manufacturing company, Global Gold's track record in quality craftsmanship and outstanding design made them an easy choice for creating the Rhino Ambassador range along with the dyes. You have the opportunity of supporting the conservation of this iconic African species through the African Heritage Ambassador Initiative by purchasing a one ounce pure gold rhino conservation medallion you're not only providing a lifeline to conservation but also acquiring an appreciating asset as a reward helping to conserve tomorrow today oh.